Hey everyone, so today I think I'm going to vlog as my weekly video because I honestly don't have anything else to film. Um, I am going to do like the first dry run for packing for China, so that's kind of what this is about. I also have a few little errands to run and things like that, um, and I thought I would just bring you along um, to see what my day is like. and. Hopefully I don't make this video too long and like blab on a lot and also hopefully it's not too short because I'm too scared to film out in public. But I just thought it would be fun to do a vlog style video. I'm just about to do my makeup. Um, it's about half ten in the morning and um, I couldn't sleep so I slept in a lot. And I have to go pick up my dog from the groomers so you'll see her cute and fluffy. And yeah, let's just go ahead with my day. So I'm going to continue this day in the life vlog from my phone because my camera battery died. Um, so I have my makeup done, I am dressed, I don't think maybe I was dressed before. And I think what I'm going to do now is like mess around with a plant, as bizarre that may sound. Um, I love like gardening and shit so um, this is like a little succulent, um, the name escapes me right now. Sempervium, there you go. And I'm going to try and like separate out some of the plants and see if it'll survive outside because from what I've read apparently it will. So I think I'm gonna give that a go. Um but I also just kind of wanted to mention while I'm vlogging today um about the attack in Manchester. Um, I'm usually not one who would post anything on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that um, just because I don't think it I, I don't think it's wrong that people do do it but I also think that it, it you know some of the terror attacks they want to spread terror and by sharing things online you can do that more so um, and maybe it does make a huge difference to people who have been involved in these attacks but I don't think doing something like changing your profile picture or stuff like that actually makes a huge difference and maybe that's cynical but um you know I did do a class I think I did like a, a project in college oh my god look at the difference um project in college on it um called slacktivism but um as someone who's very like interested in um politics international politics peacekeeping things like that i just my heart breaks for people who have been involved but also those who will be affected um because of their ethnicity or their religion um i don't know what you know ethnicity or religious um affiliation the attacker had but given our current climate, um, I would say that we can make some guesses and I think that it's so, must be so difficult for those whose religion is being taken away from them um, because someone else is hijacking it, literally. Um, and it's hard when you're in the minority in a lot of countries and what's being publicised is this hijacker claiming to do horrible actions on behalf of your religion and I feel so bad as well for Ariana Grande if you maybe I didn't elaborate there was an attack um, an explosion in the Manchester arena where Ariana Grande's um, Dangerous Woman tour was on and it was towards the end of the concert so there were a lot of young people there um, but my heart also breaks for her because no matter how much people tell her that it's not her fault and it isn't her fault, she's going to feel some of the blame. And that's really terrible for someone so young to have to deal with that um, kind of trauma. Um, it's I've been talking for four minutes. Wow. I knew I shouldn't have started on this, but um, I never really touch on things like this on social media usually, but I thought I would just put it out there that my thoughts are with the victims, with their families, and um, those who've passed away are in my prayers, and yeah, 
just trying to continue on my day um keeping them in my mind so i'm about to start propagating i don't even know what i'm doing with the succulent to be honest hopefully i don't kill it um but i'll just show you my little setup so i've got sorry the radio's on in the background i've got some water there to dip in the roots i was just using this for um prepping these i have some that's just from yesterday and these are hydrangeas and i accidentally cut hardwood as you can see so um this is not a gardening vlog i don't know why i'm talking about like horticulture on this but you know they're not the not the healthiest looking hydrangea but that's just because uh the soil where i live is shit there's some stuff out there but um this is what i've got here so i've got two really little ones one bigger one like the, the original and um, the water to kind of get some water into the base some rooting hormone back there which i don't think i'm going to use and then these are scissors for like flower arranging but i think i'm going to use them if i need to cut roots so i will update you and see how this goes along and i honestly didn't think i'd be vlogging this today but here we go he's back from the groomers hi gorgeous circle how cute are you? How cute are you? Look at her sitting in the passenger seat. She has a little box, but like I forgot to take it out. So she can just chill here. It's only a short zip home. So we're head home, huh? Stop licking your, I know. Does it hurt? Oh, look at that cut. Oh, she has, um. she gets papillomas all over her body. One of them got cut. Oh no, it's okay. We'll fix it when we go home. Okay, don't lick it. So I went to go pick up the dog from the groomers and then I had lunch and I forgot to update you on my little succulent situation. So these, this is Sempervium to the best of my knowledge anyways. I threw a bit of um, rooting hormone in them just if you were interested. I really don't know if these are going to survive. Hopefully they will. I just felt like they were very overcrowded um, in this white one by itself. So hopefully these take and... Stay tuned to my channel and I'll let you know how they get on. So I'm just about to leave to do some grocery shopping. Um, mostly because, so I'm a vegetarian, if you didn't know. Buckle my wetsuit on. Um, but my family aren't, so sometimes I have to do better my own grocery shopping and that's fine. Um, and yeah, I have to go buy, go to the vets and buy dog food for my dog because she's high maintenance my dog that i showed earlier is actually 10 and she has like she's had both of her knees done she was attacked because it's partially she was attacked by uh two german shepherds in right at where i am now um and she had like a lot of scarring and you know stuff happened to her intestine blah 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 but bijans are also prone she's bijan freeze uh, or freeze day depending on how you say it and um she also is prone to like that dog eczema so like don't buy a puppy mill dog that's all i can say don't buy a puppy mill dog like i love my dog to bits but um she has some health problems but she's not the worst you know a lot of um other bichons are a bit better or a bit worse um so yeah i'm just going to run a few errands um and I love dogs, by the way, this bag has dogs, um, but yeah, I was just going to say a few things, oh, my phone on charge, about, so I did say that I wasn't really going to talk about it, but I think I will, um, going back to the tragedy in Manchester, um, there are, I believe, 22 or 23 dead at this point, um, two have been identified, the Islamic State have um claimed responsibility and you know there's a lot of things going on in other countries you know people are very concerned yeah the second victim has been that has been identified is only eight years old and i think that really kind of shook me there's not anything i can do about it but you know you you can try and not let these things affect you very much but i'm a very emotional person and they do i've just been thinking about like the concert was in, I'm gonna start driving because I'm gonna be sitting here for a while. This might be a really long vlog. Oh, no, we need to go in reverse. Um, 
Yeah, that you know, the Ariana Grande concert was also in the, that Dangerous Woman tour was in Dublin. Like w near where I'm from. Um ish, same country. Um like 2 days ago. And the amount of people I knew there like would have been crazy. And it's really scary to think that, you know, we don't have the same problem in Ireland um, with uh, terrorist attacks because, sorry, my hands getting really close to the camera, um, just because we are like not a very diverse country. Don't worry, it's fine. My car has a three cylinder engine, it does this. Um, so that's scary and it's just, it's a scary thing to happen, but I think you need to allow yourself to think about how scary it is and you know see that things like this are happening sorry the things in my face but you know accept that things like this are happening and it's terrible but it is happening and we need to help with the disaster relief I think it's you know don't let the world make you hard and um, you need to accept that things are really terrible but you need to also try and figure out what exactly you as a person can do to change it and maybe there's nothing you can do but there's something you know putting more goodness into the world isn't going to do any harm so I think that's one of the reasons why I have decided to go on a mission trip which I will be doing my little dry run for packing for it later um, because I felt called to it I wanted to do good and I have the capability to do good so I'm going to do that um, this is very vague, I don't really know what I'm saying, but it's just hanging very heavy on my heart today, um, everyone who's been affected, it's very close to, I know a lot of people who would live over there, um, through dance things, and there's just a lot, a lot going on, so, it, it's sad, but I don't think I'm going to talk about it from this point on, I feel like I've said what I need to say that you know it is very upsetting and there is nothing that I can personally do and some people might think that's like oh it's giving up or you know it's transferring blame but it's not I've been talking for five minutes but um yeah that's how I feel a little heartbroken and um, just sad but yeah I'm just gonna continue on with my day and continue living my life because when you stop what you would have done it's like um, people surprised my family are going to New York City they're like oh, but like terrorist threats and when people are going to London after an event like that and it's you're letting them win you're letting terrorists win if you do that you need to continue living your daily life because if you if the world stops for them they live for that that's what happened with 9-11 and because it was the first huge event in terrorist attacks but like you need to continue living on your life because when you stop when you cause that huge global like freeze it's that's letting them win and they can't win i look straight up orange right now i kind of am though i did my i did self tan last night but i swear i'm not like an oompa loompa in person i'm just golden um I am about to, I was like sitting on the couch for ages, I'm just about to start packing, well not packing, like practice run, packing for China to see exactly what I have, what I need, and just to see the actual volume of things. So I think I'm just going to leave the camera run while I pack and we'll see how it goes. There are some like t-shirts and stuff that are in the wash, but... Yeah, hopefully it goes okay.
my mom. We're going to bring my neighbor to soccer practice. She's a cutie, so she's 14. <laughs> she's still cute. And I'm going to go tell my dog uh, the exciting news. Do you want to go for a walkies? Yeah. Do you want to go for a walkie? Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's this a lead? Yes. Yes. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, back from the walk. Super tired. Making pasta, vegetables, shit like that for dinner. Um actually it looks like a really good recipe. I might show it if it looks good. Um after this I'm probably just gonna watch like literally crochet, watch TV an old lady and maybe do some more like packing prep for china but this time with my mom because she's helpful um but yeah not much going on after this you know it's like i can't read the clock i don't have my glasses on i i think guesstimating it's like eight o'clock so it's late enough um but it's still bright outside because ireland Back in the car again. I drove my mom to the shops because um, she needed to get stuff for tomorrow and I'm making her buy me a Turkish. So that's life right now. Um, I'm so tired for some reason, probably because I didn't get to sleep till like four last night and then I got up at nine. So um, that's probably it. But I will do a bit more. I'm still to do my last bit of packing. I just thought I would update you um i'm not sure how well this vlog has gone i think it's just been a lot of me talking in the car but yeah that's it for now um going home doing a bit of packing you know taking off my makeup oh, yes please well, i am home again sorting out some china stuff i have no idea what i'm doing i've never done this before and i have no one that I know who's done this before so if you have any guidance that would be really helpful you could comment that down below or DM me on Instagram or something and um, which is at anime.yt um, I am just going to take off my makeup camera with a tripod from backing earlier um, and get ready for bed kind of slash watch Hawaii 5 <laughs> um, that is it for today's video um, I hope it turned out okay this is the first like vlog well I did do a vlog style video last summer but um giving it a go again um sorry if it was boring or rambly probably was but I will see you in my next video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more including a probably much better china vlog so I will see you in my next video bye